today we are reacting to some more Reddit submissions from about a month ago. I'm gonna be starting this here. So if you want to get your locks featured on the show, there's a few ways to do it. One way is to submit a post on reddit.com slash r slash not nation. Another way is through Instagram. I do get to my DMs there as well. Almost two years in today was wash day and decided to do a little maintenance between a few months. Loving every step of the journey. What part of the journey do you love the most when growing your dreadlocks? Let me know in the comment section down below. For this dude's hair, the pineapple top is looking fantastic, I must say. And the tie-dye headband is a key accessory here on this look. He's got lots of frizzy hair. Definitely a sign of the free former. <laughs> Definitely a sign of the free former. You know, and that's what we are here at Not Nation. We're free formers. Wear it with pride. Pride. It's a video. Jeez. Even better. Yeah, lots of frizzy hair. I mean, all this will do its best to take itself in over the years to come. Of course, not all of it is ever going to go in and look, you know, really maintained like a set of retwists would or crocheted hooks, crocheted locks would look. You know, frizz is definitely a part of being a freeformer and you just got to embrace it. And he's got the high top going on. And you can see the thickness of his locks as well. They're looking really wild. Time for some color tips. Probably we'll do a slight lightning and color clay mask. Ooh. She's gonna be coloring them with clay. Interesting. That's like the way they, they do it in, in the ancient tribes. I love how her locks are following forward like that. And you can see that there's some split tails here happening on these Congos. Dope photos. Love it. Even with the bonnet scarf, the forwards ponytail. Looking great. Must be a few years in at this point. Lots of different hats, lots of different styles. And I think this might be the look that she's going for with her locks. A little bit of a rainbow dyeage going on. Looks cool. That, that looks really cool, the rainbow there. Puppy locks, of course I've seen this video. It's all over the place on Instagram. This is a Hungarian Puli Freeform Cords. You know, obviously this is the same breed that Ziggy the Puli is. I just don't keep his hair in long cords like the one in this video because it is a lot of work to actually get your dog to look like this. And um, I'm a lazy freeformer, so I don't really want to put in the work to have Ziggy's locks look like that, right? I keep him matted <laughs> and freeform as well. Oddly enough, this pulley isn't really freeform because there's a lot of guidance happening here in, in the separation to get the locks to be so neat like that. New way to tie up the dreads. It's like a half updo. His hair is in such an early stage of locks where it doesn't even look like locks, but you can definitely tell that it is working. The process is happening and the freeform locks are there. Definitely are there. I would love to see more progress from Kill the Coils. Keep on submitting, bro. Hair is getting long enough to finally do some styles. What? Those are crazy slick pigtails he's got going on there. Almost like China Bumps <laughs> with the bang drop. Looks like a little bug. <laughs> this is the same dude from bef from before. Simper Simpersons. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> cool, man. That dude with dreads almost a month away from four years and three years freeform. Heavy. These are like some heavy metal locks. Some rock and roll dreads. Super thick freeforms, lots of frizzy hair coming in as well. Four years already with these locks. So fire to see. I love the shirt that he's wearing. He's wearing that Homer Simpson Japanese version. 
of the cleaner. I think it was a cleaner laundry detergent or something like that. A year apart. Gotta trust the process. So one year ago versus today. Ooh, big difference. It's crazy what one year will make. So much more fuller and so many more locks on this photo now. Way better. And now think of another year from now. They're gonna be even in more, they're gonna be even more intense. Looks like he started out with some comb coils or some twisted locks into some free forms that just look absolutely immaculate, I must say. Crazy, he's got some bleach going on there. There is a lot of like open space here on the side of his head. That's interesting. And then as the recent photo, we see he's able to do a half updo. It looks sick. Fuck, man. So inspiring to see so many different types of locks that people are growing and submitting to the dreadlock community here at Not Nation because it means it means so much to me that we're able to share and talk about locks on this channel amongst each other without judgment and the amount of judgment that's going on in the world today and diversion and discrimination it's crazy to think how wild the world is out there and I love being being able to have a safe place where discrimination does not exist so I thank you guys for that from the bottom of my heart stay natty four years locked forever what up those are crazy. I love the way they're falling forward again. Gotta keep those locks falling forward. Cause why not? Most people have their locks going back all the time. Let's keep them moving forward. We got 19 months, just need a little shake. Oh, oh. That's a big shake. <laughs> and it's standing on top like Elf Alpha. That lock did not even want to move. But now just imagine the day when this lock gets heavy enough and long enough that it falls down. He's, he's already got some sun bleach happening in his locks as well. Yo, JV, I appreciate that video, man. That was dope. Today is one year old natural locks. Whoa, those are crazy. So clumpy. Damn, they're already looking remarkable and just wait until these get much longer. Wow, those are sick. I love the way that they're kind of wavy. One more time. These are super unique. That is one hell of a set of locks this dude's got growing here. That's insane. Good to see so many different types of locks forming out there naturally. Six months strong. Got some dark colored locks. Six months in and they're looking fantastic. They've definitely started to mature. Like they're locked. They are not going anywhere. You could wash these as much as you want and they're not going anywhere. You can shake your hair out as much as you want and they will not unravel. Eight months into the journey. Hey, got little baby locks going on here. Eight months in. It's a good start. Got a long way to go. And this is a day one photo. And then this is eight months later. So you gain quite a bit of life. Locks still looking rather thin as well. So definitely means he's got numerous amounts of them. What up, bro? Let's get you let's get you to that one year mark. I know you got this. Definitely been here before. Frozen locks. As cool as this photo looks, I do appreciate this artistry. I must say though. I avoid doing this as much as possible. I used to snowboard with my locks out and I would allow them to, to gather snow and ice and freeze over like this. 
But then I noticed I started to smell after because it got so moist. And obviously they weren't able to dry properly after that. So I always covered my locks when I was snowboarding after that. So this, although it is a very fun thing to do and looks great for the photo, just be careful not to do it too often because all that moisture getting into the locks and not being able to dry properly because it is a cold climate that we're in in the winter, it's best to just avoid doing this. But I do appreciate the photo, man. It looks fantastic. That's so fun to see that you're enjoying the winter weather. And if you guys have winter seasons where you're living at, what do you do for fun throughout the winter because it does get kind of boring and cold so we gotta do our best to stay out in the nature doing activities and I want to know what you do I enjoy snowshoeing I enjoy dipping in the lake taking ice baths I enjoy snowboarding and ice skating and just hiking yo Antman back with the dread turban and more solid dread turban bro super solid it's a great look and it's hard to achieve the, the dread turban because it takes years of dedication to get there. Cool. His locks have changed a lot over the years. He's always rocking interesting styles. Super lengthy as well. What? Appreciate that bro. One month of no brushing? That's what it will do for you. All this guy needs to do right now is take some cold shower rinses. That will lock up what he's got going on here. Easily. Cold showers, man. They do so much for our hair, so much for our health, our body, our mind, our soul. Start doing it if you haven't already. It's fun. Okay. Where's my musicians at? Let's see what he's got. Copyright issues, can't play too much, but he's on that bass guitar, free-forming it up. Yo, I won't lie, I've been playing the piano lately, the keyboard. I'm trying to learn how to play Changes by XXX. Where's the musicians at? Do you play instruments as a dread? You definitely know that creativity runs in our blood. What is this? Two years growing? Cool little montage. You got the headband going on. Kind of like a Chief Keef style of locks. With some length and a little bit of a bamboo bead. Looks great. I appreciate that photo. This is a cross post from Dreadlocks. Interesting. Seven years locked. Boom, I just hit seven years as well. Shout outs. King Jason here. Just started free forming again, but this time I'm going to stay free. Stay free. It's all about freedom these days, especially with the amount of coercion going on and manipulation and trying to get people to be jabbed. There's there's no freedom left in the in North America anymore. So let's let's utilize the freedom that we have with our choices that we want with our bodies and let's express this through our hair. This is our free choice to do this. No word of a lie. Seven years locked. So dope. He's got one lock that's braided together here, then congoed up as well. Very similar to what I have happening right here. The braid lock into the congo or the flat started with the towel rub eight months ago, being free forming, letting them do their own thing for the past six months. Yes, type one hair often does end up with wispier, thinner dreads like this. Don't know I appreciate locks of free form of any type of hair. I always appreciate the effort people put in to the patience that it takes to get these locks. And I have nothing but encouragement for this dude to keep on going because they're definitely gonna work out in the long term. Just gotta stay patient with it. Got some sick Congos after five years have more sections like this, never had maintenance of any kind, only washed and separated. And these congoed up years down the road. 
Our locks always have the potential to change as long as we leave them unhindered. Let them do their own thing, you'll be surprised at what they want to do. They literally have a mind of their own. Maybe no brain, but you get what I'm saying. I love the way that that Congo there is working out. And that's only five years of length. That's crazy fast for his hair to grow. Some are wispy tips, some are blunted naturally. Yo, these are legit. Those are so legit. 36 months on this journey and I'm still going strong. If the Lord is willing, seven more years to reach my 10 year goal. Dude, you got it. Definitely. Kind of reminds me of the weekend when he first started his locks. Wow. That is already some crazy progression that you got going on. Definitely doesn't look like the weekend anymore. Very unique. Super unique. I am stoked for you to see how these locks turn out. I mean, we, we already know you're going to have some big thick natties growing out the sides and the top of your head. Was this bleach put in before? Or is that all sun bleach? So sick. Even they're all rectangular as well. Four months into my freeform journey. Yep, looks like that could have been a dread sponge started out there. Sick. They're looking good. They're looking fantastic. These are the dread balls here, the dread woolies. What do you guys call these little frizzies? We need to come up with a name for them. But your locks, your locks are looking great. Fantastic, bro. Keep them growing, please. Let's see you get to that one year mark. Come on, bro, you got it. One big dread at the top of the head. Holy wow. These are going to be interesting. Pipe cleaners on sister locks. Interesting. Wow. Sister locks are always so thin. So crazy. And there's pipe cleaners in there. Imagine she just had locks this thick right off the get go. I would be scared of having sister locks because they're so thin and I, I would only just see them breaking a lot easier. This is why I love freeforms, there's freeforms that are super thick and they rarely, rarely break from tension or over maintenance. Keep on growing your art piece, Hey, that's true. Our dreadlocks are definitely art pieces on top of our head, unique to our own journey. Now his locks look kind of crinkly at the end there. Hell yeah, bro. And last one here for the day. His name is 54 Baby Trey on IG. I'm gonna have to check him out. He's got some crazy freeform locks here. Kind of reminds me of Young Thug a little bit for some reason. Cool looking locks. And that's the thing about freeform locks is they always look unique to the individual every single time that's it for today's episode i'll see you guys next time support the nation on the merch stores links in the description if you like the video just leave a thumbs up but definitely leave a comment and say that you were here i'm gone peace the nation.